Hey, this is Michael Emery. Thanks for tuning into the Slow Baja. This podcast is powered by Tequila Fortaleza, handmade in small batches, and hands down, my favorite tequila. Hey, I want to tell you about your new must have accessory for your next Baja trip. Benchmark Maps has released a beautiful, beautiful Baja California Road and Recreation Atlas. It's a 72 page large format book of detailed maps and recreation guides that makes the perfect planning tool for exploring Baja. Pick yours up at benchmarkmaps.com. Hello, my name is Yolanda. I'm the GN of the Waikura Group, which is, uh, we have a three beautiful uh, venues in one boutique hotel in Todos Santos. And uh, we are sitting right now in this moment in, in a beautiful view in the um, rooftop of the Waikura Hotel. We had a beautiful oasis view in the town. In the other side, we have um, a, the theater, the mission from the house, and it's a beautiful spot right here. So um, we are starting with the Waikura Road which uh, we started in the hotel. The people stay here, enjoy the town. The town. They just stay in a beautiful rooms. And then next time they just wake up. They had a uh, very uh, good uh, breakfast in our uh, restaurant in the rooftop. And then after that, they go to El Faro, our beautiful beach club and they enjoy all the beautiful spot there with the, that they can see the Punta Lobos there, which we had a um, very fresh catch of the day um, fish that we provide to our guests there. They have a organic uh, vegetables. They have a um, very good cocktail to enjoy, very good tequila, mezcal, and all those to really enjoy a beautiful, um, stay in El Faro. So El Faro has... Um, let, let me jump in right here. Yeah. Yolanda loves loves uh, her work, and I just want to say um, we're going to start with Slow Baja Approved. Uh, the Baja visitor Ted Donovan and I stayed here in 2019 when we were on the Baja XL Rally, and it's just a beautiful um, oasis in a beautiful Pueblo Magico. So can you tell me a little bit about this building and Todos Santos. Oh yes, um, this is a, a 18th century building. It's uh, one of the oldest in this town. And this was first, was like a, um, the, the house of the Dominguez family. And after that, um, they they bring to Todos Santos of, of the, the cane sugar right here that they produce. And then after that, they um, this building come from a, um, a school, a school teacher. And then after that was the student house where all the people from around here, um, all the little ranchos around here, they come and stay here for go to the school, to the, um, to the junior high or to the uh, elementary because in the ranch, they don't have uh, any school there. So. And then after that was a post um, office as well. And um, yeah, that has a lot of Well, it, it's a beautifully situated building in, right in the, the heart of downtown Todos Santos. It's a stunning brick construction and we're on the rooftop deck, which I've been here in the evening at sunset and it's a beautiful view. You get to really take a good, good look around and the stunning view and, and great service from the bartenders. Um, I like this hotel, and I'm gonna tell you why I like this hotel. This hotel is beautifully designed in a traditional manner, but the details are right. The sheets are beautiful. The rooms are large. The showers, the bathrooms are spectacular. The tile work, it's very traditional, but it's very, very well executed. So tell me about the approach of Waikura and your boutique hotel's view on, on hospitality. Uh, well, we are like, um, for us, the more important thing is our guests. We really want to, you know, that our guests, that they, when they come to the hotel, 
to this boutique hotel, they feel like they in home, away home. So they, we, we really wanted, I mean, um, that those, all our guests, they really feel like, um, like very personal service, uh, uh, that they, that they really enjoy the stay. We try, you know, to, uh, to be a friend of our guests. They, they also feel like we are like part of the family. We, we really like those little details that are more important to make uh, feel to our guests. And how many rooms do you have here? We had 14 rooms. So 14 it's, rooms. Uh -huh. So it's an intimate hotel. It's small, it's a beautiful, small, intimate hotel. And you can walk to anything here in the downtown of Todos Santos. And if you want to go to El Faro, now it, most people come here, they fly in, they drive, they rent a car in Cabo and they drive here. But do you have a service that will take your guests to El Faro? Well, most of our, our guests, they have a car, so they they are like they feel just very drive. free to go at any time. Yes. And, um, and most of the people also, they, uh, they just uh, take a taxi. They uh, stay in other hotel also. El Faro is another, um, the only beach club that we have a very uh, with high standard. And how many rooms there? Uh, no, uh, El Faro is just a beach club. Just a beach club? Yes. So, okay. Yes. So when I saw and it, I did... we have a spa, we have a restaurant, okay. we have a swimming That's what pool, I saw. we have a yes. little cabin by the yeah, beach yeah. area. So you say... Uh, and it's a nice little drive. You drive down a dirt road and into some sand and it's beautiful when yeah, you get there. Yeah, it's a really nice experience. You go driving to town and then just pass for that very charming town and then just go to the road by, uh, by Punta Lobos and then... When you get there, you see like El, Fa El Faro, which is a lighthouse. It's a real lighthouse for the fishing men that they in Punta Lobos. And then when you get there, you had a very nice spot around there. You're in the middle down nowhere. And at the same time, you are very close to, uh, to town. Uh, it's about 10 minutes. Beautiful swimming pool, beautiful bar, yes. beautiful palapa, lovely beach, spa services. Okay. It's totally in the middle of the, you know, in the nowhere, but at the same time. But lovely. Every, yeah. And then last night I had a spectacular dinner at El Mirador. So describe El Mirador. Uh, El Mirador is, uh, I can say that is the icon of the Todos Santos. It's a beautiful spot. I think the most beautiful in, 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 in uh, I can say in, in the Baja to see and, and, you may be right. And see the sunset and enjoy a delicious food there as well. And um, you have a garden there. So is the food all the food grown there, or most of it, some of it? How do you? How would you say? Yeah, um, most of our vegetables we have it for our gardens and part of them, and fresh herbs and and also um, we have it like. You know, that fish also is literally catch for the day. Yeah, literally maybe caught <laughs> yes. that day, yes. So it's farm to table, it's locally sourced, but really what sets it apart is the setting, the location. It's stunning. You're on a bluff, you're overlooking the ocean, and the sun comes down and it sets right into the water, and then you see, like we saw it last night, you see the green flash. Just as the sun goes into the water, you see that. And then when the stars are out, it's, it's spectacular. Yeah, it's an amazing place. Even, um, even I can say the, one of the best view for see the suns. And currently there are some restrictions with uh, the government and COVID on the number of drinks. So we, we were moderate in our consumption. We had a bottle of champagne and a bottle of wine. Can you, can you explain to folks who might be coming down soon what's, what's happening with um, current government restrictions on rooms and, and eating and drinking and what have you? Well, it's supposed to be in this, uh, in this coming week. Is um, we gonna, uh, we gonna get the, uh, we're gonna increase our uh, percentage of, or the capacity so I think next week we're gonna have a, a, a I hope good news for this. It's been a very tough year, hasn't it? Uh-huh, yes. 
Yes. Well, um, Toto Santos is as beautiful as ever. Uh, can you can you talk a little bit about where people can find information and how they should book uh, a room at, at the Waikura if they want to come? Oh yes. Um, yeah, they can uh, go directly to our uh, web page, which is uh, www.waikura.com, or they can go to our reservation in singular reservation at waikura.com, or they can just call directly to the hotel, which is um, six one two one seven five zero eight zero zero. And this will all be on the show notes on slowbaja.com. Slow Baja approved, Slow Baja highly recommended, the rooftop bar, the Mirador, El Faro for a swim and a, a cold cold uh, beer in the afternoon. It's all top shelf, um, fabulous, and I say get down here while you can. So thanks, Yolanda, for making some time for Slow Baja, and I hope our paths cross soon. Thank you, and please come and enjoy Baja and Todo Santo. It's an amazing town in a beautiful spot around here. Thank you. Absolutely right. Thank you, Yolanda. (laughs) You know, we can't wait to drive our old Land Cruiser down to Baja, and when we go, we go with Baja Bound Insurance. Their website's fast and easy to use, Baja Bound Insurance, serving Mexico travelers since 1994. Hey, do you have a 4x4? You love off-road racing? You got to join Slow Baja in the Nora 500. It's Ensenada to Ensenada, three great days, October 7th through 10th. Kurt LaDuke, Off-Road Hall of Famer, leads the class. If we can do it in our old truck, you can do it. Get your street legal 4x4, get into the safari class, and I'll see you in Ensenada. More info at Nora.com, that's www.norra.com, or on Slow Baja. Slow Baja's wardrobe is provided by Taylor Stitch. Responsibly built for the long haul, Taylor Stitch makes clothes that wear in, not out. Wherever your adventure takes you, Taylor Stitch has you covered. Check them out at taylorstitch.com. Hey, you guys know what to do. Please help us by subscribing, sharing, rating, all that stuff. And if you missed anything, you can find the links in the show notes at slowbaja.com. I'll be back before you know it. And if you want to receive notices on new episodes, please follow Slow Baja on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook for you old folks.